Hi, this is Dr. Frank Laws with Quick Takes. This happens to be a video blog about atrial fibrillation and everything related to atrial fibrillation. Sleep apnea happens to be a condition that is highly associated with the development of atrial fibrillation. Uh, there are two recognized for forms of sleep apnea. One is obstructive sleep apnea, the other one is central sleep apnea. In obstructive sleep apnea, there is a resistance uh, to the movement of air uh, from the atmosphere into the lungs, and it's usually associated with the presence of snoring. The other form happens to be central sleep apnea. In this form of sleep apnea, the respiratory drive from within the, br within the brain slows down. This then results in you breathing at a slow rate and, and, and increasing the amount of breathing. This also then results in lowering your oxygen levels within the bloodstream. The, the fall in oxygenation then leads to neurohormone activation. The increase uh, neurohormones that floats around the body when one is actually sleeping then triggers the development of these arrhythmias. The most common form of the arrhythmia happens to be atrial fibrillation.